What's up everybody and welcome to another episode of the Oak and Smoke Whiskey Reviews. My name is Brent. If you are a subscriber, I thank you so much for your support. And if you're not a subscriber and you're into whiskey and whiskey type related stuff, please consider hitting that subscribe button with the notification bell. That way you'll be notified of new uploads and live streams. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Old Forester 100 Proof Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Old Forester is the longest running bourbon brand on the market and the first bourbon sold exclusively in sealed bottlings. Old Forester is also one of the few brands that was allowed to be sold during prohibition for medicinal purposes. Old Forester 100 Proof Bourbon is part of the Old Forester Core range which consists of the Classic 86 Proof, the Signature 100 Proof, and the Old Forester 100 Proof Rye. The Old Forester 100 Proof is a brown forming product that is distilled by Old Forester Distilling. This is a non-aged stated whiskey with a mash bill of 72% corn, 18% rye, and 10% malted barley. It has a 50% ABV, 100 proof, with an MSRP of around $25 to $30. Let's check out the bottle for a second. The bottling on this one, guys, is your standard core range Old Forester bottling. It does have a cap. On top of the cap, it does say 100 proof. Around the stem of the neck right here, it is orange. On the 86 proof, it is a light blue, and on your rye, of course, it is green. Right here on the front of the labeling, it does say 100 proof. It does have, this is called their signature series. That's kind of paying tribute to George Garvin Brown signing personally all of his bottlings. And the signature is right here. On the back, there is a little bit of a backstory about George Garvin Brown. Pretty simple, simple bottling. With that being said, let's get into the color, nose, and taste of this whiskey. All right, guys, check out the color. The color on this one is actually fairly dark. It's a nice deep copper or mahogany color. I am gonna coat the glass a little bit just to see how oily and viscous this whiskey is. And it is coating the glass fairly well. I would say the legs are running fairly thin and quickly, so it's not a super viscous whiskey by no means, but it is, it's, it's got a nice viscosity to it because it is coating the glass decently. Um, not super viscous or oily by no means, but it does have a nice viscosity. Nice color of the whiskey. Let's get into the nose. Right away on the nose, I'm getting a little bit of sweetness. Some baking spice, some clove. There is a little bit of oak also, a little bit of barrel spice. A little bit of a rye note or spiciness to it for sure. And I am getting that typical brown forming banana characteristic. It is coming off like a, a banana pudding to me, like a um, almost like a banana snack pack. You open up a, the snack pack pudding, you take the top of it off and you get that essence off of the pudding. That's kind of what the nosing's like, like a, a banana pudding off of a snack pack. Nothing real complex or depth going on or deep going on here, but it is nice. It is very approachable. You're not getting the ethanol or alcohol scents. Very nice, inviting nose, especially the 100 proof, very approachable. Once again, like banana pudding, a little bit of baking spice, allspice, a little clove, uh, maybe even a little bit of caramel in there also. And a nice barrel note. This is a non-acidated whiskey, but I am getting a nice barrel note on the nose. Once again on the nose, bananas, baking spice, it's a little bit of clove, some overall sweetness to it a nice barrel note and a little bit of caramel also. Very nice nose to the whiskey. Let's get into the taste. Cheers. First sip, the mouthfeel is Okay, nothing extraordinary on the mouthfeel. Maybe the mouthfeel even does seem a little bit thin. Finish is middle of the row, but I am getting nice, like bold, rich flavors, like the vanilla that I'm getting on the first sip. 
And in the, on the finish, I am picking up a note that I didn't get on the nose, a little bit of cocoa in there. A little bit of cocoa and barrel spice, or barrel on the finish of the first sip. Decent first sip. Let's go in for a second. Cheers. Second sip. Does seem to be a little bit more mouth coating. Now the palate is adjusted or acclimated to the whiskey. That banana characteristic is definitely there. Mid palate, you're picking up some burnt sugar, some clove, a little bit of baking spice, and it's finishing off with this nice oak and cocoa note that I didn't get, I did not get a cocoa note on the nose, but I am picking up a little bit of cocoa on the finish of the second sip. Very nice second sip. I'm almost wondering what the barrel char is on this, what, what level char they used, because it is a rather dark whiskey at a great price of 25 to 30 bucks. It's definitely not the age, or it would definitely be a little bit more expensive. I'm wondering what the char is on this, because I am getting some typical notes like your cocoa and, and, so, and your burnt sugars that you would get from a little bit heavier charred barrels. Well, so anyways, let's go in for the third sip. Cheers. Mm. Very nice third sip. The mouthfeel is getting a little bit better. Nothing extraordinary by no means, but it's a decent mouthfeel. Front of the palate, it's bananas. A banana pudding note and with a little bit of vanilla in there also mid palate caramels burnt sugars and back of the palate on the finish you're getting all your clove your barrel spice and baking spice note and it's finishing off in a nice oaky cocoa note very very nice third sip very nice pour without a doubt for the 25 to 30 dollar price range Let's get into my final thoughts. My final thoughts on the Old Forester 100 Proof. Guys, I do not think anyone will be disappointed for picking this up between $25 and $30. I think it's an outstanding pour of bourbon whiskey that is priced very well. A great and excellent budget bourbon. With that being said, I'm going to wrap this up. I thank you so much for watching. If you are a subscriber, I thank you so much for your support. And if you're not a subscriber, hey, subscribe. Until next time, guys. Cheers.